Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Another episode of Robinson Custom Fab and Woodworking. I'm going to give you a quick update on the status of the CNC machine here. As you can see, I got the uh, Z axis cart on here. These uh, V groove bearings work awesome. So, in my last video, I aligned these, the uh, Z axis linear rail here. They come with little uh, uh, plastic caps you put in there. Ball screws mounted, and Christmas came late. Got some stepper motors in today. Ordered them from Automation Technologies. They're all uh, NEMA 23. This is a NEMA uh, 520 or 570 ounce inch. Um, and I got the through shaft, so I can put a little handle on there. And all of them have the through shaft. Another thing about these uh, motors is. You'll notice that there's a little indent. There's a little dent in right there. You want to make a hole large enough so that your motor, when you're mounting it, it sits on this face. See a lot of guys who put spacers just around these holes. That's, that's not very good. This thing's just going to go like that. You want a nice solid mounting surface uh, for this to fit in through. And it's actually an inch and a half hole. So if you just get a hole saw, you can drill a hole, put it in there. You'll see pictures of for the mounting of these motors. And there's actually a hole in there. And they're, they're uh, direct drive, no pulley system whatsoever. So that, you know, saved me a bunch of parts there. Uh, another thing about couplings, when you get couplings, um, you want to get the, the style that pinches, not the ones with, this one has it both actually. This screw will actually damage the shaft. And if you do get a keyway also, there's going to be a little, like, a tiny, like a thou of play with a keyway. Maybe not even that much, but there's, when you're actually uh, compressing the shaft, there's, there's less room for, uh, for tolerance variance. And last thing, from... Uh, Automation Technologies, this KL5056. This is the uh, uh, stepper motor driver, and I got three of them. And they should be powered all by a 48 volt DC power supply. Um, anyways, so this will be uh, in another video uh, when I start doing the panel. But for now, I'm pretty happy uh, with what we got here. Another thing, too, on this uh, the Z axis cart here. So these whole these are stationary, or this shoulder bolt bolt is going directly through a three eighths hole. So because gravity is working down, this is holding most of the weight. And then down here we have actually there's a slot in there. I can show a picture of that. And what I've done is I've come under here with a bolt with a small uh, bolt and and push that up into that slot and that is actually creating tension on the bottom of this of this um, V groove bearing so when I just spin that with my finger it's it's connected it's perfect and lastly I know uh, probably two videos ago this is the little adapter piece uh, that I thought about how I'm going to attach this to the ball screw so this actually slides over the ball screw. That'll get bolted there. And the Z-axis can come in. There's just enough play for that to slide over. And then I've got the holes right there to mount that. So that'll run with the ball screw. And that's, you know, this is sort of something I made up on the fly. I couldn't really, I didn't know what, the, what my distance would be from the ball screw to the back of this cart. So that's the update I got for this week. Um, stay tuned for more. Once all the mechanical's done, we'll get the panel out and we'll start wiring this bad boy up. Till then, take care.